What's going on guys? Um, this video was requested by a friend because he was having troubles um, downloading a skin. So in today's episode, let me show you how to download a skin for Osu. What you want to do is you want to head to any browser, pretty much any browser. Personally, I use GX, uh, what is this called? Opera GX. And what you want to do is you probably want to head over to YouTube because YouTube actually has a lot of different type of skins. Um, for example, what I'm going to use in this video's um, tutorial is the white cat skin. What you would do is either, actually no, we, we would need to type in white cat skin for that. So if you run ever, ever run into some top player that you see that they're using a skin that is custom made, most likely you're going to be able to find something on YouTube that's probably related to um, what, they're, uh, what they have on. Might not be exact because they might have changed a little, but that might be pretty... YouTube might be pretty useful in finding. Or you could go into Osuk, which is a really big really big um, skin website, I'm pretty sure. There's a lot of different types of skins you can get from here. But today, we're going to be focusing on the White Cat skin. Um, as you know, this is his video showcasing his skin release, where he's uh, showing off all the skins that he has from the 1.0. Obviously, he has come out with the 2.0, but I'm just going to be using the 1.0 as uh, the tutorial. Uh, as you can see here, many of uh, the videos, obviously, since they're showcased in a download page, there would be a download link. So, here it is. What you want to do is you want to click on it. Let's wait for a load. And you'll be prompt to a website or straight to the download link most of the time. But over here, as you can see, it actually brought us to the website I just show showcased. Um, Osu skins, Osuk. Uh, so we're back here. So it's giving us download links: mega.nz, mediafire.com, Google Drive, and mail.ru. Personally, I really trust Mediafire, if especially if you have an ad blocker or anything, because it's really, really safe. But you can also, if you don't have an ad blocker, I'd suggest Google Drive or uh, yeah, Google Drive is probably one of the safer ones, because obviously there's gonna be things you're gonna come across on the internet that might be not legit. So want to go for either one of those I suggest these two um, well obviously you could choose other ones pretty sure mega.nz is pretty popular too so what you want to do from here on out is you want to download a skin I already have this so I'm just gonna do something else let's say the DT the DT skin right it'll be bringing us to the media fire page same goes for the Google Drive if oh that's Okay, never mind. I'm logged into a wrong account. I'll just continue using Mediafire. Um, all right. So what it says here is Mediafire. There will be ads if you don't have ad blockers, so be be uh, careful of that. Some of them might not actually be too safe. So obviously, this is the correct download. Do not press anything, anything on the page if there's uh something telling you to download because those are definitely not legit. Uh, you want to click here. If you don't have an ad blocker, I'm pretty sure it com comes up with a pop-up, which is kind of annoying. You gotta close that. Personally, I've had issues with that in the past when downloading things like texture packs for Minecraft. I've been using Mediafire for a while. Pretty sure those are um, not dangerous, but if you do something stupid, it might cause something bad. So, as you can see here, Opera, I don't think it normally opens it up. So... If your web browser or your PC just doesn't open up, you want to either go in, open into your folder, or you could double click it, wherever the pop-up is. For Chrome, I know for a fact it is around over here, the bottom left of your page, depending on how many downloads you have stacked up, um, just the bottom part. You would double click that the file that just downloaded. But personally, I brought it to um, my downloads folder, so I just want to click this, double click. And it should end up bringing, yeah, the file disappeared, so it means it's opening up uh, Osu. So, we'll see. Not sure if my screen will be sharing Osu, but I can see right now. Hold on, let me just turn off this. As you can see, Osu is launched, and um, the skin is on. Uh, it's pretty much the video. Hold on, let me just give this one more try. Gotta wait for it to load in, if it's not loading. I'll be clipping this bit, so it's um, not loading in. I'm not doing it to the show. Okay, here it is. Control O, you can take a look. 
uh, with this path, we got this thing we have on. And obviously, if you have a collection of things, it will all be in the current thing folder. Well, not folder, the collection. Like, if you have a lot. Yeah. I guess that was my um, tutorial. Hopefully, this was helpful for you and you learned something and you can enjoy downloading the shit ton of fucking skins on Osuk and what Osa has to offer. Have fun.